Alrighty, I have found the code to this locker. Uh, you do actually have to go to a website on the actual internets, and uh, sadly the website is no longer available, but I did find the code uh, through a wiki page for Doom 3, and it is 0508. 0 5 oh. Yay! The chain gun! Yeah, once I saw it was the chain gun that was going to be in here, I really, really, really wanted the code, so, yeah. So, yeah, I did not cheat. You really do have to go on a website and look for the code. Uh, there is another one that is in another level of Doom 3, and it's going to have, like, the BFG in it. So, if we find that, uh, the code is also the same thing. It's also 0508. Marine, Bravo team reports there's some sort of unidentified growth taking over parts of the base. I don't know what it is, but it can't be good. Stay sharp. That sounds amazing. What? Ali. Goodies. I duh. It isn't working. I tried everything. The computers aren't responding. I can't get root access to the systems. We can't do it here. We'll have to access the system somewhere else. All right, let's go. Yeah, that guy's got a BFG. I want one. Oh, let's go back down here. Even though I don't want to. No. Oh, this is back where we came from. Okay. Don't believe we went up here, because I don't remember it. Yeah, there's enemies here, so. That's long range to kill that guy with a shotgun? Yeah. I did. Sweet. Yeah, I don't remember this. Uh, uh, that's, yeah, I don't, uh, I think that's the strange growth that the dude on the internet was, or the dude on the communicator was talking about. Anything? No. That just means I have to go in here with all the creepy... I don't want to. Ah, uh, I know there's something creepy that's gonna happen in here. I guarantee it. I just want this. Uh, no. No, thank you. Ah, creepy pentagrams and stuff everywhere. I'm not interested. things again. No. That's that doesn't sound good. I want to oh that's not fair man. Spawn things in front of my face. Thankfully I have a shotgun that has upgraded powers and stuff ever since the mod. Thank goodness for modders. Welcome to the Alpha. I don't think so. You know what? Double kill. I think the health thing with Jiggy's still over here. Yay! I want to save the... Okay. I want to save my, uh... Minigun for, like, a boss battle or something. I haven't really fought a boss battle or anything. The pinky, I don't think, counts, because that's just, like, a... I don't even think that counts as a mini-boss. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got the thing. I need to go back here and see if I can go in that room. Here. Forgot. I also forgot to read, too. True gorillas, artifacts, or banks, and you need attention. Check out a brand new web page. This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October 20th, 2145. It has come to my attention that we have an alarming number of missing personnel throughout the base. My office has received four additional reports from Delta in the last week alone, mentioning that personnel are not reporting for work and that calls to their quarters have gone unanswered. My office has sent the names of those personnel to Mars City Security. They have promised to initiate an investigation. But this news is very disturbing. Especially at a time when we have so many people in the infirmary suffering from sudden cases of schizophrenia and other psychological disorders. I hope there is no connection between those cases and these reports of missing personnel. Think so. Now let's, let's play this one. This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October fifth, twenty one forty five. It has been brought to my attention by Environmental Services that the recent power grid changes have caused many non-critical systems to malfunction. The report explains that this is due to either intermittent power outages or lower than optimal voltage input. It also says that sufficient power distribution to all non-critical systems is becoming more difficult to maintain thanks to Dr. Vitruger and his so-called optimizations to the energy stores in and around the facility. I assured the director of ES that I would file a report with central authority over this. Alright, I checked out that room and it didn't have anything in it other than a computer that had terrible internet connection that it could not even log in. Yay! We've made it to another level, Alpha Labs, Sector 1. I think there's a, um, one of those storage lockers in this area, too. I was, I, while I was looking for the code, they mentioned that there was, like, two of them. I got one, and there's another one. Left. Green, I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo Team yet. You need to pick up the pace. You can't wait for it. Reaching the communication facility quickly is imperative. I can't see anything. Thank goodness for the flashlight on this pistol. The thing is, the pistol flashlight is not as powerful as the normal flashlight is. Healings. Turn the power back on. The UAC takes pride in its safety record. Please follow UAC procedures. Hey, forget the procedures, man. There's things running around here that does not fall under the procedures category.
shotgun is now beast at mid range to semi long range. Five balls somewhere else. Switching to something with longer range. Pistols are good too. For generations, humankind has lived under the looming specter of slowly dwindling natural resources. Our new ventures on planet that looks like cool. Our I think that's the pulse rifle. Resources. I think that's like the same, same type of technology. Don't think I can get past that. Yeah. Can I jump through? No. How in the world am I supposed to get through this? Ow, 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 shocky. Shocky things. I don't think a grenade's gonna do that. It's gonna help me. Ow. Well, no. Nonsense. Trippy. Maybe I was supposed to see something, but I didn't see it. Maybe it was like that w mirror thing. Thankfully, I didn't see it. Right, there's a security code, I guarantee you, in here somewhere. There's no codes in any of these. Yes. Audio log for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the EPD project. Uh, the, uh, the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational, and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the quark emitters in the chamber, and witnesses say he appeared to see something. It's almost like uh, something was talking to him, and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. It was not a pretty sight, as it took off the backside of his head. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not sure you can consider that living. But they say his eyes rolled back and forth, and he was trying to talk, although, after losing that much brain matter, I'm sure it was just reflex actions. Anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab, and we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. The code for the cabinet is 752. End of 
Yay. There's some other stuff here, too. This is Paul Simon, security specialist in IT. Our network security has been breached several times over the last few days. Now, it looks like it may have been going on longer than us. What is it? We knew it was going on. We covered the track pretty well. We just have to notice some logging on them, so it would still be going on. The intrusion came on an encrypted carrier signal from the Delta complex. They piggybacked the virus on one of the supercomputer requests and it peeled itself from the data stream once it was inside our firewall. Someone on the inside there has to be responsible. Unfortunately, due to security in that complex, I can only tell it came from within Delta. There's no way to identify which machine or even which lab it came from. Whoever was in our system had access to all personal data, including medical reports. My team will be monitoring the network closely in the next few days, looking for anything unusual in the block. Open repair access gate. Let's do it. EPD laser active. Oh. What do you mean it's going to be still active? Are you serious? What? How? It how is someone supposed to be, like, repairing that thing if there's a laser that's trying to, like, turn them into dust? I really don't like this. There's, like, a, uh, this is a time thing here, so I'm gonna make sure I time it right. Make sure I save this, because... Yeah.